This is part two of a three-part series that is going to be an actual homework problem out of the book. And it's going to rely on Graham's Law of Effusion, which is why this is in front of you right now. And Graham's Law of Effusion is in the box at the top where we have the rate of A over the rate of B is inversely proportional. That means what's on the top up here is on the bottom down here. And likewise, what's on the bottom here is going to be it's going to be inversely proportional, which means that the B will be on top here and on the bottom here. So this is a simple statement, but sometimes the problems get a little bit crazy, and we're going to figure out how to do those things with little or no problem. So first thing we want to do is look at what they're actually asking us to do. We're on page 878 in uh, that's uh, A, Appendix A at the back of the book, and number one in chapter 13. So what is the ratio of effusion rates for uh, CH4, which is methane, versus nitrogen? So we're going to use the law by first figuring out, and let's just uncover it this way. First of all, we're going to assign letters. Who becomes what doesn't really matter. As long as whenever we're referring to methane, the CH4, which is right here, as long as we're referring to methane, that's going to be letter A. Anything in reference to nitrogen is letter B. So now as we go over here and we first set up the left side of this equation, that'll be the rate of methane, which is A. Uh, as we look up here, okay, that's A. And so the rate here is the rate of methane. And then the rate of nitrogen, the N2, is going to be right here, and that's this guy up here in the stylized equation. So, looking at the other side, who's going to be on the top when we're looking for molar masses? Let's see. Aha! We're looking for the molar mass of nitrogen, which is an N2, and that nitrogen is on top, where on the left side of this equation, it's on the bottom. So that's inverse. So the rate of methane, which is on top, is going to be on the bottom here. And that's how this little guy gets set up. Now we can go to the periodic chart, and we can figure out the molar mass of two nitrogens, which is right in here. Okay, that's two nitrogens. 14 each, and for methane, the guy on the bottom, we have one carbon and four hydrogens. Carbon is 12, each hydrogen is one. That adds up to 16. So, when we get down a little bit lower to look at what this is actually going to turn out to be, we want to be looking at what is what are we going to have when we divide 28 by 16, and then we're going to take the square root of that to get rid of that radical. And that will give us the ratio that we desire. So here we are. I lost my little shade here. Here we are at 1.32 is the answer for this left side of the equation. Now that's not the final answer. That's just the answer of doing that divided by that. And so we divide the 28 by 16 and take the square root and that's 1.32. So the ratio of methane to nitrogen, okay, the methane rate versus the nitrogen rate is going to be that 1.32 to 1. 1 will be the value of nitrogen and two are, yeah, the value of nitrogen, and the guy on the left, which we just calculated in this, out of this radical, that's this guy, and that's the rate of methane. So if nitrogen is one, 
methane is 1.3 times faster. And that's what this tells you. And that's how you solve one of these little guys that we call Graham's Law of Effusion or Diffusion.